Right now at 6 o'clock tonight, the search for a hit and run driver. Two women walking to their car suddenly hit from behind. And tonight they are talking about that terrifying attack from their hospital beds. The women who are sisters were left with serious injuries and they believe the driver did it intentionally. Mm. Well, the women were hit early Saturday morning in the third ward on Bowling Green Street near Dixie Drive. Our Sion Roads live there now and Sion, intentional or not, the impact was violent. And the severity of their injury shows that one sister had her leg broken in three different spots. The other has 100 stitches around her forehead. And then take a look. There's still blood here on the street where these sisters say someone struck them and left them here for dead. Sisters Denisha and Oshane have had lots of fun nights out together, but none ever ended like this, with both women severely injured in the hospital. Only by the grace of Jehovah God that we're still alive. It was around 2 o'clock Saturday morning when the sisters were leaving the address sports bar. We were just talking and laughing and walking to our cars. When a car hit them from behind. I felt myself fly in the air. I hit the curb. That's when my tooth got knocked out. And I bounced from the curb into the grass. I was looking for my sister. When I looked in front of me, she was laying about 30 feet away. And she was covered in blood. Oceanay says multiple drivers passed by, but no one stopped to help until 15 minutes later. It's just beyond me why you would hit two women and leave them to bleed in the middle of the street. Denisha doesn't remember much about the incident. I woke up in eye surgery and I literally asked them like, hey, what's going on? She does recall an encounter with a driver who asked if they needed a ride to their cars. She can't help but wonder if it's connected. If it was the young man that we politely turned down, that's a bigger discussion because women often are, are you know, punished for saying no. He sped off like he was angry. Whoever hit us, it was intentional. So family members have been out here today in these streets surrounding where this happened, looking for surveillance images. You can see there's cameras attached at least as one townhome, but it's not currently occupied. The family says they're trying to track down the owner, the realtor, to see if they can look at that footage, if any footage was in fact captured. The girls do have a long road of recovery ahead, but they say their doctors tell them they do expect that they will make a full recovery. If you have any information about this crime, call Crime Stopper 713-222-TIPS. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News.